Hi folks, it's David here and I'm out today enjoying the beautiful Aberdeenshire countryside and I thought I would take a couple of minutes out to talk about my channel Loch and Cairn and what it is I'm trying to achieve uh, over the coming months and uh, basically as I said in my introduction I enjoy hiking, I enjoy uh, wild camping, I enjoy mountain biking and uh, recently I've been learning to ski which has been great fun but over the summer season I really want to try and focus on wild camping so I've come up with an idea it's a, a wild camping project that has a set of goals and the goals are fairly simple I needed to I need to do one wild camp per month over the summer season so that's going to be May, June, July, August, September that's five wild camps over the coming months so why am I doing this why am I having a wild camping project or a, or a set of wild camping goals there's two reasons the first reason is that we've got some of our equipment that we've got and I say we because it's both me and my wife that go wild camping some of our equipment is uh, I've seen better days and it needs to be replaced so we're in the process of doing that now and that stuff needs to be tested, that equipment needs to be tested, I should say. And the only way, or the best way, to test wild camping equipment is to actually go wild camping. The second reason is that we want to configure our list, or configure our equipment list, so that our backpacks are, are lighter. And the reason for that is that we want to spend more time hiking rather than wild camping. So the idea behind that is that we can go to the more remote places in the Scottish wilderness and the only way to do that is to put your stuff in your back and hike so we really want our we want our backpacks to be to be only have the stuff that we need in it and we need it to be brutally efficient basically so that it's lighter and we can hike further so that's reason number two so to summarize the wild camping project has a set of goals or a goal I should say and that is to do five wild camps over the summer season which sums up to one per month and the reason for doing that is to A test new equipment and B to configure our equipment so it's lighter so we can hike longer I'm going to be documenting all that on video so all those wild camps will actually end up on the Loch and Cairn channel and uh, I will talk about the equipment that we're using now uh, the, the equipment we've replaced and tell you what I think about it what I think's useful and what I think isn't and uh, I'll probably be talking a lot about our configurations what, what we're actually carrying in our bag what we think we need what we think we don't need and I'm really looking for equipment that's multi-purpose uh, that's the kind of thing I'm looking for so it can be used in multiple ways so that it can reduce the amount of equipment we need but anyway, that's pretty much it. I'll summarise again because I've been rambling on for quite a while. The wild camping project is a goal. The goal is five wild camps over the summer season. That's one a month, May, June, July, August, September. Two reasons for it. Test new equipment and to configure our equipment so it's lighter so that we can hike longer. If you're interested in that, please stick around. There's going to be videos about it over the coming months. In fact, that's pretty much what I'm going to be focusing on. Uh, there will be other videos, but it'll mostly be about wild camping and the kit that we've bought and uh, the equipment we're taking with us on these wild camps. So anyway, that's pretty much it. If you're interested, I hope you stick around. In the meantime, thanks for watching.